Trent Williams had one of the best seasons we've ever seen from an offensive lineman last year. The guy was absolutely remarkable and, in my opinion, has put himself in the best player in football conversation. You put a gun to my head, I'm probably still saying Aaron Donald, but you could make an argument for Trent Williams. At least last year, he was fantastic. Let's get into the film and talk about what he did so well. And this is going to be a play where, again... Talking about an offensive lineman pass blocking can always be kind of weird when you're making a film study just because, like, you know, most offensive linemen win most reps. That's kind of just the nature of the position. But here's a good example. Of, like, he's going up against Von Miller right here. So Von Miller, obviously a very good edge rusher, a future Hall of Famer. And I feel like, you know, watching this game, it's like William just really consistently beat Von Miller throughout this game. Right when the play begins, what you see is that, you know, Miller can't really pull off any one of his, you know, special moves that he likes to pull off. You know, Miller tends to get a lot cre very creative. He'll use his speed. He'll use his hands. But right here, there's not really much he can do. And William just gets the hand placement he wants right away. And part of that is because of the athleticism Trent Williams has, despite his size, that if you're trying to get to either side of him, it's just not going to work out too well. As you see, I mean, he's easily going to be able to finish off that block from there. So these are just kind of things that he can do, is he just wins consistently. It's not necessarily a highlight reel level play, because again, in pass blocking, you're not going to get too many highlight reel level plays. But what he does in pass blocking is he just consistently wins, which is what you want out of an offensive lineman. Let's now go over here. So this is going to be a run blocking play. And this is kind of a good example of just what he can do and how he can, you know, just make things work. There's a reason why San Francisco paid him so much money uh, in the previous offseason to keep him on their roster. And it's because he can absolutely clear out running lanes. And for a team that values the running game as much as San Francisco does... It's a match made in heaven for Williams and for Shanahan, where watch what's going to happen on this play. So you see the one-on-one -on -one block that's going to happen here. Williams gets his right hand, and see how he's kind of able to get his right hand on that uh, left shoulder pad of 94 for LA? That's what he's going to do, and that's kind of what's going to allow him to be able to just move him. Watch him shove 94 out of the way, and he just clears out a running lane that if the you know halfback went that way he would have had room to run so that's just what he can do is he can really just move guys I mean you put him one-on-one -on -one against interior defensive linemen and he can move guys which there's not a lot of tackles that can do that and there's I don't think there's any tackle who can do it as consistently as Trent Williams can like this one's a crazy play that happened where what's going to happen on this play is there's actually going to be a penalty on this one it's going to be a, a offsides penalty you see where Williams is supposed to block well, you also notice that 52 right there stepped over the line. So, okay, uh, went a little bit too, uh, you know, got, got too little too excited there. So the one thing that that should help you with, at least, is you should get a bit of a head start given that you are a tad off sides. But right when this play begins, again, you see how Williams is going to really just, you know, uh, 52 is out of position a little bit because he was trying to get back a little bit off balance, and Williams is taking advantage of that. You see how he gets the hand placement where he wants, where he can try and move him. He then twists over to where, again, there is a running lane for this play to work. It's another really good play from Williams. And as you see, the halfback does, in fact, get through that gap. Trent Williams doing a good job of making his block, despite the fact that that was more of a unique play. Because, again, a lot of times when we view football, we view it as like this very, you know, chess match oriented thing where things go in a very specific way. And, you know, this piece moves two spaces forward and one space to the left kind of thing. But in reality, football is not that simple. A lot of weird stuff happens. And I do feel like Williams does a good job when weird stuff happens. And this is an example of kind of a more unique scenario that he's still doing a good job at winning at the end of the day. Now let's go over to something like this. So again, I'm going to show you on the screen where his one-on-one -on -one block is going to be. It's going to be against 96 right there for the Rams. And watch what happens. Right off the bat, this play starts li relatively like any other play. But kind of what makes Williams so effective, I think, is his uh, strength paired with his athleticism. Because as he's going to block towards the right side of the screen, now for 96, you kind of have to keep up with him. And you see, look at 96's legs. Really look at how his right leg is so far over to the left side of the screen. It's not as far over to the right as you would want for him to be able to maintain his balance. This is because Williams is quick and Williams gets to a spot slightly before his assigned man does, which gets him a little bit off balance. And then Williams has the strength to do the following. Watch him just knock him to the ground. And that is definitely just a, you know, he has the, the size and he has the power. Uh, he has the power and he has the athleticism. You know, all the stuff that he, you need with a tackle he possesses, and that's part of what makes him such an effective 
tackle and why he can really kind of embarrass you sometimes out there. But he does it to everyone, so it's really not that embarrassing when you, it's 71 for San Francisco who's doing it to you. And finally, one last play. It is kind of crazy how often they run their running plays through Williams. You know, traditionally, I think a lot of teams, and again, it's different because San Francisco does just use their tackles. They have this outside zone, so that's part of why it's a great marriage. You know, traditionally, most teams like to use their guards as the main guys, but you know, San Francisco already likes to use their tackles in this manner, and having Trent Williams uh, makes it a lot easier, and it really does, you know, you see it on the screen how often Williams is the guy who has to make a block. This play is kind of an example of that. Uh, they're going to have a double team, and Williams is the guy getting off the double team to block 51, the linebacker, not a guard like a lot of other teams would do it. Right when this play begins, you see how Williams does a great job at getting up and you know making that first block, allowing his guard to be in position to make the play. Did not just do a great job. The guard did on this block, which happens. It's it's the Rams that you know everyone will get you. But you know Williams also does a great job at getting over to the linebacker. So again, this is a scheme thing more than anything, but still a really good play by Williams. And as you see, he even finishes off the block pretty well. So good stuff by him. If you're a fan of Pro Football Focus, which you know. I think they're all right. I think they tend to be pretty good. Not perfect, but solid. Um, Trent Williams was not just the highest graded player last year. He's the highest graded player in the history of PFF, according to their system. He had a 96.6 grade. It's out of 100. Uh, so I don't know what you got to do to get a, to 100, but he was pretty damn close. Uh, this was, it was an unbelievable year, and he's just an unbelievable player. I mean, the guy does not lose hardly at all. And not only that, but he's actively creating stuff. You know, I often compare PFF grade to a batting average. It's how consistently are you winning, which for offensive line, that's pretty much all you look for is consistency and winning. So that's why I think that, you know, PFF grades for offensive line tend to be really good indicators for future success. Whereas, you know, for defensive backs, it, it can, it's still solid, but it's just not quite as good. Uh, um, and for someone like Williams, I think that, you know, he just, he wins. The guy, like, he bats close to a 1,000 here. He's not going to lose. But on top of that, it's not like he's only hitting singles, again, to use the baseball analogy. He's hitting home runs, too. He's moving guys out of the way. He's, I mean, in that playoff game, they were having him pull over. And, like, I, that just, like, feels like it should be illegal, having Trent Williams be able to be in motion uh, and lead blocking. Like, that's insane. The guy's just an incredible talent, and again, you could make the argument he was the best player in football last year. Uh, I'm still always going to say Aaron Donald, probably, but uh, you could certainly make the argument at least last year he was the best player in football. And I mean, if if non, uh, you know, I guess if offensive linemen could win awards, he would certainly be in the conversation for offensive player of the year. It's just like no, no one watched the offensive line tape, so no one's ever going to do that. But that's kind of my thought on Trent Williams as a whole. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me that I'm, you know, do you think I'm being too high on Trent Williams? I'm giving him too much credit? Or do you agree? Like, nah, he's maybe the best in the league. Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.